Hey everyone, John here from testprepinsight.com and today I'm going to be reviewing the MCAT prep course from Princeton Review. I'm going to talk about how this course works and what you get, what I see as the pros and cons of this prep program, and I'll give you my thoughts on whether it's worth it after reviewing it. And just as a heads up, since I'm just going to be covering the major highlights in this video and trying to keep things kind of short, if you find you need some more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review of Princeton Review's MCAT course over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Princeton Review MCAT Review. It's a quick way to find it. All right, so I think the best thing to do here is just to dive right on in. Now, there are essentially two different ways to take the Princeton Review MCAT Prep program. You can take their self-paced course, or you can take one of their courses with live classes. There's a bunch of different options to choose from, all with varying features, and I'll break those down a little bit later in this video, but just know that they're all basically a variation of the same live course. So in short, you can do it yourself and take the self-guided format, or you can work your way through their MCAT curriculum with live class time. But I think to help best explain the difference between these different versions, let me start by telling you how the self-paced program works as it's sort of the backbone of all of the course options. And then I'll call out the differences with the live format after that. And along the way to help kind of add some color here, I'm gonna also tell you what we liked and didn't like about this course, and then I'll give you a quick verdict at the end. So when you get into the self-paced online course, there are really only four main tabs that you see. Home, practice, lessons, and topic focus. The course structure is not very complicated at all, so let me explain each tab and what each section does. The home tab is just that. It's a very basic dashboard with links to a few overarching materials like the course guide and support resources. Very simple and not much to explain here. You can pin upcoming topic focus sessions to your dashboard and see past test results, but that's about it. Then you've got the practice tab, which houses all of your practice tests and flashcards. I'll just start with the flashcards real quick because there's not much to tell. Princeton Review gives you the option to make your own flashcards. They don't give you an Anki deck directly or anything like that, so it's more like a note-taking feature that you can use for yourself. We honestly didn't find it super useful. The real function of this tab is the practice test and score reports. This is where you get the real value here. This tab gives you links over to all 16 full-length mock exams in the program, as well as section exams and diagnostics. Honestly, you're going to spend a ton of time under this section because you need to be taking a bunch of full-length practice tests. There is a huge correlation between the number of practice tests taken and score improvement. And Princeton Review wants you taking a mock exam every two to three weeks during your studies. Now, these tests are a mix of the AAMC materials and materials crafted in-house by Princeton Review. And I'll just say that we found it all to be really high quality. Obviously, the AAMC materials are as good as they come, but even Princeton Review's in-house content was rock solid. We found it to be a close match for real MCAT passages and questions. And the score reports that they give you with your practice work are super useful. You should spend at least as much time going over these score reports and reviewing answers as you do taking practice tests. Then, the next tab here is a big one. Lessons. This is where you get all of your main MCAT coursework. So Princeton Review breaks out their curriculum into six categories based on subjects tested on the MCAT. Biology, psychology slash sociology, cars, general chemistry, organic chem, and physics. Each section gets its own tab. And then within each subject, there are a number of classes. Now, there are three components to each class. Pre-work, class, and homework. It's pretty simple. The pre-work generally consists of a diagnostic exam to see where you're at, includes assigned readings from your prep books, and some basic practice exercises and problem sets to get you primed. Then the class section of each module is your primary instruction. This is video lessons. Every class consists of a series of 8 to 15 videos. Now, as for the video lessons themselves, we have sort of mixed feelings on them. On the positive side, they're on point from a substantive perspective and spoon feed you all of the high yield content that you need to know. So when just looking at content, they're great, but on the negative side, their format needs some serious upgrading. The style of these videos is fairly old and outdated at this point, and we think Princeton Review needs to invest in remaking them. They're all PowerPoint style slideshow videos with an AI voiceover. It's clear it's just an AI voice reading a written transcript and they move pretty fast. There's no human touch to them, which makes them feel a little dry and businesslike. Basically, the content and graphics and the videos are good, but the delivery definitely needs a significant upgrade. And then after the class portion, there's the homework. And this is generally just a bunch of targeted quiz questions and passages meant to drill on what you just learned. Or in other words, a lot of practice work. Sometimes Princeton Review will drop in a post-class reading assignment, but it's mostly subject-specific practice sets. And that's 
kind of it for these classes that make up the main part of the coursework. You work through them one by one, knocking them down until you've completed all 41 modules. And then lastly, the final component of the online course is the topic focus sessions. These are optional live classes that are open to everyone. Some of these live streams are 60 minute office hour sessions where you can drop in and ask questions about anything you want, but most are narrowly focused classes led by instructors that dive deep on specific topics. These sessions are awesome and get really into the nitty gritty of narrow subject areas. There's about 12 of them per week and you can attend as many or as few as you want. It's mostly about where you need help. But anyway, that's sort of how the self-paced version of the Princeton Review course works. Now let's get to the live format of the MCAT program. But real quick, before we dive into the differences between self-paced and live, let me quickly talk about the different options you have and pricing. That self-paced course that I've described up to this point, it costs $1,600. And then there are four or five live formats. There's the standard live online package with 123 hours of live instruction called the ultimate course. That costs $2,900. Then there's the MCAT 515 plus course, which promises a score of 515 or better. That costs $3,500. Then there's the MCAT 515 plus immersion package. That comes with 195 hours of class time and costs a little over $7,000. And finally, there's a couple in-person boot camp style course packages that range from $3,000 up to $9,500. So you've just got a bunch of options here. But here's the thing, all of those live formats are sort of the same version of the same package, but get progressively more intense and immersive. They mostly track the same curriculum as the online coursework, but the more expensive packages with more class time go deeper into the weeds and you spend more time with your instructor talking through science review, strategy, working sample problems, and reviewing practice tests together. But here's the thing, while those prices sound expensive, you'll never pay full price with Princeton Review. They're almost always running some sort of sale or offering discounts. In fact, I'll do my best to keep that description down below the video screen updated with the most current discount and promo codes that I can find floating around out there. So make sure to check out that text below the video screen and save yourself some money if you go with Princeton Review in the end. You should be able to get 15% off their MCAT courses almost any day of the year. But anyway, let's circle back to the live class courses. As for how they compare to the self-paced program, well, they follow the same general structure, but are obviously a little different. In short, you work through the same classes that are in the core online curriculum, but rather than teaching yourself with video lessons and reading assignments in the book, your instructor leads you through the material. It's coverage of the same general content, but in a different format. Now, this has two advantages in my mind. First, it provides some structure to your studies, so if you need to be held accountable and want the commitment of a regularly scheduled live class, it's great for that. And two, you obviously get much deeper instruction. The Princeton Review instructors don't simply read off the slides or out of the book. They're sharing their experiences from tutoring, giving tips that are not in the book, and overall just going deeper. We only took the ultimate course, not those 515 plus courses, but I would imagine that they go way into the weeds and get ultra immersive. And just generally speaking, we found the Princeton Review instructors to be great. The half dozen instructors that we had were clearly gurus and great communicators. And maybe most importantly, they all taught within the Princeton Review framework, so everything was really consistent. We were just overall very impressed with them. But bottom line, the live class format is a derivative of the self-paced curriculum, but with live instruction and targeted homework assigned after every class. Which one is gonna be right for you is just gonna depend on your situation. All right, so now that I've explained how the course works and kind of what we like and don't like about it, let me quickly recap the pros and cons and give you a quick verdict. But before I dive into that and forget, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter and everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free MCAT course. All right, so let's briefly recap the positives of Princeton Review's MCAT prep program and what we really liked about it. First, the practice work. We love Princeton Review's practice material and the explanations that they provide for reviewing them are fantastic. Second, the prep books are awesome, maybe the best in the entire space. They go really deep and provide tons of helpful graphics and illustrations. Then third, the optional topic focus sessions are worth their weight in gold, especially for self-paced students. Make sure to attend at least three or four of those per week and that will really round out your studies. And then lastly, the core structure with pre-work, class, and homework. It's a very smart approach that drives home need to know material and we like the course organization a lot here. Then on the flip side, the cons are one, the video lectures are kind of lacking. They definitely need to be upgraded. 
Two, we'd like to see more guidance with the online coursework. Princeton Review doesn't provide a clear study plan or roadmap on which order to tackle the different classes. And three, the worksheet that you use to track your practice test answers and conduct your reviews is a manual process in a spreadsheet. It would just be nice to see that integrated more seamlessly into the program. But anyway, that's sort of it. So the question is, is Princeton Review MCAT worth it? Now, in our team's opinion, the answer is yes. The pros definitely outweigh the cons here, and Princeton Review has a lot going for it. With in-depth books that cover everything you need to know, realistic practice work with killer answer solutions, a smart course structure, and endless optional live topic sessions, we really like the Princeton Review MCAT prep program and have no issue recommending it. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about Princeton Review. If so, please return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and drop me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written review of Princeton Review that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website. Again, that's testprepinsight.com, or you can always check out the other videos we have on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.